Hey guys, welcome to today's video. If you're new here, I'm Jamie V. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing three small cosmetic companies that I found on Instagram. I reached out to you guys and had you give me some ideas and I picked three companies for this video. I have purchased a few things and I can't wait to review them with you guys and my thoughts. So before we get into the video, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified and you can become part of the hive. We're a big fun family here and as always, Always, guys if you're already subscribed welcome back I love you I missed you let's get into the video all right guys so like I said in the intro I did put on my insta story for you guys to send me some indie brands so I could purchase two things or a few things from them and get a review up but I want to do is I really want to start doing this as a series where I'm gonna pick three different brands per video buy a few things and review them one because you never know what gems are out there hiding that just because they're not Too Faced or Kylie or Jeffree Star, they're not really promoted. So for me, because I am a small influencer or a small YouTuber, whatever you wanna call me, I know what it's like to have to like build to get there, you know, to get my name out there, etc. So to be able to help these smaller brands is kind of what I am interested in doing. So if you have a smaller brand that you guys want to see products reviewed from, make sure you go ahead and comment the name, the Instagram, whatever you have to down below, because that's another reason why I'm doing this is so you guys, before you go and spend your money on these brands that no one has ever heard of, you go ahead and let someone like me review it and let you know if it is worth your money or not. So let's get right into this video. So the three companies I selected were JD Glow Cosmetics, Baby Bat Beauty, and there was one more, JJ Cosmetics. So lots of J's going on. So it took me a little bit to get the JJ Cosmetics one, but that's fine. You know, I had to wait for them all. So I did use them on my face today, and as I'm going through, I will explain which ones I used and how I felt about them. Um, this is my personal opinion, so if any of these companies are watching, please don't take this as hate. I just want to make sure I give my viewers, my followers, my loving family an honest review of these makeup items, okay? Let's get into it. All right, so the first one I'm going to open is going to be the baby bat beauty because let's just take a second to just uh, this packaging this is the cardboard box it's just plain cardboard on the outside too but when i opened it up and i saw this is just the wrapping statement what like design was in here like just check this out what are you freaking kidding me right now? Like, that is stunning. You have a coffin. You have the, I guess she's a vampire. Eh, don't kill me if I'm wrong. Just all of it is, like, so exciting. And I kind of want to, like, take the box apart and see if, like, the whole thing is a design. Because if it is, oh, my God. Like, the whole inside of the box. Okay, so I definitely think I'm going to hold on to this and try to make a shadow box out of it or something. So it also has like skulls where it was folded out. Like this is just, to take the time out, honestly, and do this, I don't think I've ever gotten makeup or bought makeup from a company who has taken enough time to like create something like this. Like if I hide the white parts, like this could definitely be something cute. Okay, so we're gonna keep that, but enough of the package, let's move on. But that is what first caught my eye. So I have my invoice, which tells me how much everything is. Now I will tell you, um, for an indie brand, and I'm going to pause, guys, I am extremely sick, but I refuse to miss a video for you guys, so just bear with me my voice. I might go in and out. I might, you know, call for whatever, but I'm really going to try to hold it together for you, <laughs> so just bear with me. So for an indie brand, um, this one seems it was a higher cost for the palette so i did get a palette and i did get a lipstick so let's start with the palette so i used the palette on my eye today i did have really so i did have to actually go into another palette just to get a darker brown to kind of give it some depth um and i'll show you why in just a second so this is pressed glitter um i don't really know how i feel about like when you read the ingredients here it says may contain and then has all these ingredients. Now, I'm not a big ingredient junkie. I don't really know what's good for you, what's bad for you. I know what's pretty, and I know what I like to put on my face. And that's honestly just my unbiased opinion. If you are really into those products, and you know what's good for you, know what's bad for you, by all means, do what you want to do. 
But so it is cruelty free and vegan, which I am a big fan. Um, and this is handmade by Baby Bat Beauty LLC in PA, Philadelphia, PA. And I will put all of their websites below. And so it does say you shades left to right and it gives you those. And this is the Luna palette. So when I first pulled this out of the box, it concerned me quite a bit. I thought it was empty because it is very light. This was $30, okay, which is it's kind of pricey because I just bought a brand new Tarte palette, which was $39. And Tarte, you know, it's, it's a higher brand. It's well known. So just keep that in mind that that was one thing negative with um, the Baby Bat Beauty was the price of the palette. So you get a card in here, which has the palette right here. Um, these are not what the colors actually are, and I will show you the palette in just a minute. They're just a little bit off. That could be a printing issue or whatever, but um, I don't really go off of that, but I thought this was pretty neat that they put it in here. And then they have the shades left to right again, which I kind of like that they're just like, girl, let me, let me make sure you know what colors are what. So here is the palette. It is really cute. Um, it is very lightweight. Like it is a little bit of cheap packaging. Um, it's all cardboard. There's a little foam in here, but it it's cute. Like look at it. It's like holographic. Oh, I'm looking in the mirror at the viewfinder. I'm like, hey. So I think that this is a really cute package. It is uh, has the name here, and I believe no, the colors are only on there. So when you open it, there is no mirror, and then you have this, which says cute and creepy, which, I mean, it is cute. Like, I really like this a lot. So I like that it easily folds, and you have the shape of the bat. So what I meant by they're not similar in color is if you look here, they're just a few shades off. These are a little bit light. So we have Blood Moon, Equinox, Full Moon, Meriden, Eclipse, Celine, and Polaris. If I'm saying any of these names wrong, guys, I'm super sorry. I do my best with that, but I can only do so much. So let me talk about the, let's do the cons first. The way they're pressed is the quality is not the best. Um, this one, if you look, is slightly elevated out of the pan. And then this one, I don't know if you'll be able to tell because it's white, but it's kind of bubbly, which is weird. Like it just wasn't pressed even. And then you have some of these that are, they're just pressed in way, way deeper than the rest of them. So that's the only con thus far is that the the quality of the packaging was a little bit um, subpar for me. So however, I used this color, which is Equinox, and I used Full Moon on my eyes today. And this color, I, oh my god, I loved it. So there was a little bit, there is some kickback in the pan that you get with this. But this shade is so pigmented and it blended out so well. Like, it's up here at the top. And it was just a dream. Like, it was so pretty. This is one of my favorite colors. So I'm really super stoked that it came in this palette. Um, Full Moon was, it's a very pigmented glitter, if you could tell. Um, but that's just it. It is not a shimmer. It is more of a glitter, if you could see it starting to get up there. Um, and it had like pieces fall out so just be mindful of that um but i will go ahead and i will swatch these so again it has a little bit of a kickback so you just have to be mindful of that but those kind of things don't really it doesn't bother me at all because that comes in all kinds of palettes so i'm gonna swatch the first four let me get my handy dandy swatch arm up and i'm gonna just go ahead and swatch those for you see this one like it just, it's more glitter than it is anything, but I was able to get it to build up. I think the problem is if this was pressed properly, that it would be way more stunning than it is. And then you have this white one, which is just a little bit patchy, but I think it's supposed to be shimmery. So it seems as though their shimmers are their issues, but look at this one. Oh my God, it's so freaking beautiful. Right, and then I'll go into these next three, which are the blue and greenish ones, which I think are very beautiful colors. Oof. So you have this one, which is a matte, and then these two look almost like they have matte and then glitter reflex. I wouldn't say they're shimmers, though. So you put them here, and see how dark this one is? It's, it's inconsistent, and that's my only problem, is that I just don't think that my palette was pressed properly because you have some that are like really, really in your face, beautifully pigmented, and then you have some of these, which are just gonna take a little bit more time 
to build up. So if I'm being 100% transparent with you, I don't think that this palette is worth $30. Um, it is very lightly made and the quality, whoever pressed these, whether it was a machine or it was by hand, which I'm assuming was by hand because it does say handmade, um, just make sure that you, you know you want the same color all around. You want it to be consistent. So for me, this, this palette is not worth $30. I think it's cute. I think that this color and this color were phenomenal. This color is beautiful. But it, I'm going to have to work really, really hard to get those colors to not be patchy and to kind of blend out and show up properly. So as much as I loved this, I don't think that I would have paid $30 for it had I known what the quality was in advance. So the next thing I got from the Baby Bat Beauty was the Lotus Lace and this is the Lip Cream. Now, this is $9.99, which is right around a good indie brand lipstick price just because, it, you know, they're not as super well known. Um, it is, again, super cute packaging. I love that the color, it, it's all beautiful, like the purple. I love the package, the little bats on it. It is very, very cute packaging. You could tell that they put a lot of heart into that. The product itself was actually really, really good. I have it on my lips. It was a little light at first, so I did have to put two layers, but you know what? I have some really expensive brands that I have to do that as well, so just keep that in mind. Um, it is, I want to say, so it's, it's a little, tra it transfers just a little. I have a little on here. It's really like nothing, um, so I wouldn't really call it a cream. It is definitely more of a matte, but it is beautiful I love this color they did fantastic it smells okay it doesn't smell chemically or anything like that and I am just really excited and I think I'm definitely gonna go back to buy some more of these if they have any more I didn't really look so I'm gonna have to go back because this was definitely definitely worth the $9.99 and pay for it and it's super freaking cute like I just I love it okay so moving on to the next company which was JJ Cosmetics. It came in this pretty little envelope. I'm not gonna show you the other side, this is just my address. And I only got two things from them as well, but they sent me lashes um, as an apology. I'm not really sure why they apologized. Oh, I guess because the shipping, but, so I got a cute little handmade, really, like the lighting is just like, Meh. so I got a cute little thank you card. And it says, Jamie, so just like a little note here it says, Jamie, hi love, thank you so much for your patience. I included two lashes in your order as a thank you for your patience. It really wasn't super long in shipping, but I really appreciate that they did that. Because let me tell you what, ColourPop is on my list. I ordered the Zoella, the brunch collection, and it still hasn't shipped. And I just like a week later got an email saying, oh hey, by the way, we haven't forgotten about you. You need to send my stuff because you keep posting all this new stuff you're coming out with. Stop producing stuff and get the stuff that I've paid for already out the door. So I want to go into this one first. This is the package. It comes in a gray compact. This is the Yes Honey Pressed Highlighter. And I think it's you know, it's very simple but very cute packaging. I'm really here for the iridescent. Um, back in the day, my nickname was actually JJ. So I think it's really cute. All right, so this one actually did not come with an invoice, um, so I'm going to go ahead and place the prices over here. I'll look on my um, email to take a look to see how much I paid for them. So here's the problem. I'm going to get the negative right out of the way with this one. This is cruelty-free and vegan and a couple of things. So I'm going to show you the mirror, and I really hate doing that because I'm going to blind you. But this came with some kind of, like, I don't, like, I don't really know what's on here. But if you see, it's like kind of chunky. So I'm not really sure what that is. So that was the one thing that kind of was like, mm, what is happening here? And then if we move it a little bit closer, if you look here, it the way it was pressed, it's kind of bubbling out of there. So I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, this is a little bit darker than what I wanted, but that's my fault, not their fault. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to swatch this for you. And it is stunning. I think that if you have darker skin tone, this is going to be beautiful. I definitely could use this on my lid. I could do it on my inner corner. I definitely would not put this on my face because it's a little bit dark for me. Um, but they were sold out of so many colors. So I was just like, oh, I guess I'll get it to try it. But the consistency of it 
it is really nice. Like, it blends like butter. So I definitely think that this one is a thumbs up. There's just some cosmetic, like, packaging things that they could probably have fixed. Like, I'm not sure what that white stuff was, so... But other than that, I think that this is, it is so blinding. Okay, so the next thing that I got, um, unfortunately, is not as positive as the pressed. So this is the Champagne Rain Loose Highlighter. So the only problem I had with this it is a very beautiful color. Very, very beautiful, but it's more, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's more glitter than it is highlighter. So see how it does that? It leaves like a gray cast on my face and I had to put a different highlighter over my face because it was leaving like when I would turn like this, it just kind of, you could see like just gray lines. Um, so I'm not really sure what is happening with the formula. I don't know. I'm not really sure. It's just, it's a little bit too glittery for me. It is really pretty. Um, and the two, I guess I'll review the two lashes that she sent or they sent. I'm not really sure if it's a girl or a guy. And this is lashes and a wink get you further than you think. That's cute. So this is pretty please. And this is sweet thing. So let's pull out pretty please. Oh, they're soft. I don't know what the price is for these, but I will also put them up. These are very beautiful. Oh my God, these are soft. The band is a little bit thin, which is how I like my lashes. I like them to be big, but I like the bands to be thinner. It's easier to work with when they're thinner, but they're definitely like, I don't know if you can see that, like they're up here, like they're fluffy. Ooh, I love a good eyelash. So these are definitely a yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right, let's move to the next pair. Ooh. So these I like, but they, these are going to be a little bit of a thicker band, which is fine. I can work with them, but I just prefer the um, thinner bands. So look at that. Oh, my God. That's so beautiful. I love how they have these spaced out. So the thing with me with lashes is my favorite kind of lashes are like Queen Bee's. Or I have Eyelore brownie something on and they're spaced out like they're not just like complete flush across they're almost like spaced and that's how these are and that's the ones that kind of mix the best with your real lashes and give you just that nice fluttery full effect I am digging these so I would like to say that with JJ Beauty or JJ I'm sorry JJ cosmetics um, the only issue I had was that this was just too glittery. And that might just be a personal preference. Some people might like that, so it's not a negative, really. The only thing that I would definitely say was a negative was whatever was going on with the mirror on this. Like, just make sure that when you're mailing stuff out to customers that it's clean and it's prepared physically to be mailed. Other than that, I think that it was completely amazing that they sent me two free lashes for waiting for shipping and it really wasn't even terribly long so kudos to them because like I said there are higher up companies that will take forever <coughs> Kylie <laughs> and not even give a crap like they're not giving me anything for free so the next one is gonna be JD Glow Cosmetics and after someone had mentioned this in my insta story I watched Tati's PR unboxing and apparently she really likes this company and so I was like, oh, that's really exciting. So in there, you get their little post-it, and it says, thank you so much for ordering with us. Receive 15 off your next order. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess I'll use that. I did get an invoice for this one, so I can tell you how much each one was. All right, so let's start with the negative. No, let's start with the positive. I hate starting with the negative. I like to be such a positive person. I just hate being negative. All right, so positive the packaging this is freaking sleek okay I just want to take the time out to say I appreciate a hot pink moment and to add gold onto it and black it's like yes okay so I really do love the packaging and by the way all of these came pretty bundled up in bubble wrap I just kind of got rid of it as I was using it on my face so the first thing is the so what and this is the lip gloss um this was fifteen dollars and it's really cute. It, it has mm, several issues I have with this one. Um, let's talk about product-wise, uh, formula-wise. 
it was very oily. I'm not sure if whatever their base is for their lip gloss, they put just too much in this one. I'm not sure, but when I tried to wear it, it was just very, very oily. And it was kind of like not sitting. It was almost separating on my lips. It was very weird. But this is my ultimate issue. $15 I paid for this gloss, okay? That's right around Kylie. I think Kylie's is like 16, 17. Look at this brush. Let it focus. Do you see that? I'll do it over here. It's all frayed out and like messed up. So it was so hard to even apply. So I'm just gonna do it like this because it's the only way you can see it. So it's completely frayed out and I guess they just, either the machine or when they did it, they just didn't put it in properly or this applicator is too big for this gloss tube and now it's all kinds of jacked up. And I was just like, eh. So I will go ahead and I will swatch this for you. It is really pretty, but again, it's just very oily or what. I'm not really certain what is happening here, but it is like a pink sheen. And I think it's like, look, see, it's starting to like bubble up and be weird on my hand. I don't know if you could see that, but it's just like the formula is just a little bit weird for me. So I think that it's very pretty. I'm very irritated that the applicator has gone to shit um yeah like it, when you try to put it in it's just look at that it's just too big for this bottle um so I just I was not a fan of this this was a complete pass for me um you know I would hope that it's not always like this that maybe there was just an issue with the formula mix up with this like this it's bubble it's weird it's separating on my hand and I wish I could show you like, do you see the streaky lines? It's because some of it is, like, raised up and some of it isn't. Um, but the next thing is definitely more positive. This is Chaos, and this is their pressed powder. So it came in this gold wrapping or this gold container with plastic wrap on it. But I think that this is, like, stunning. Like, hello, gold moment. Hello. <laughs> now, this guy. Okay. This is is and it's vegan and cruelty free as well don't know if i said that this is phenomenal every angle do it do it yes beautiful this is the most beautiful highlighter i have even played with in a long time so it's a little crumbly if that makes sense like when I'm doing this like some some kickback comes out but I can when I swatch this you're gonna be like it's not even that big of a deal I don't even care watch this watch this ready oh my god it's like it wants to be gold and silver and pink purple it's so pretty I love this I paid $16.50 which is a very weird price but I think this is completely worth every freaking penny oh my god do you just see this just look at this oh blinding like it's just so nice it's so pretty and that is actually what I have on my face that is giving this camera so much freaking trouble trying to focus. They're over here like, girl, what, what is happening? There's too much light. <laughs> so again, like I said, I really, really, really just look at this. It's a little powdery, but you can get over that. Like, oh my God, this is stunning. And they have so many on there and I'm going back and I'm going to probably get them all. So this completely like I don't even care about this goodbye that's fine this made up for it when I opened this I was like oh that's pretty and then I swatched it and I said this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen so I'm definitely going to go and see what other colors they have and what other items they have when it comes to these it is pretty lightweight um but it's like I said, it was sixteen fifty. It does have a little push button here, so I thought that was cute. But so that was definitely um, JD Glow Cosmetics was definitely a hit and a miss for me because the lip gloss, just the formula, didn't work well for me, and the applicator was complete. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to be mean. I'm just trying to give you guys my honest opinion on it. However, I think that there was really, really good items in all of these brands. 
I think that price wise, the loon, the baby bat beauty could probably go down on that palette. That's a little bit high for me for a indie brand um, and for the small amount that you're getting. I think that the JJ Cosmetics was beautiful. Just maybe tone it down with the glitter and just make sure your packages are cleaner. And then JD Glow Cosmetics, I think that your highlighters are stunning. All that I ask is that you pay more attention to small details like this because again, this is $15 that I just paid for and I think that the gloss looks beautiful. But the formula, I'm not sure what's happening. Like you can tell like in the container that it's not really, if you look here, it's not really mixing well. So I'm not sure what's happening with this. Maybe I have to like shake it or something. I don't know. But I will link all of these companies down below. Um, I'll put their website down there and also with their Instagram so you can check out some pictures. But I think that for the most part, these companies did pretty amazing uh, for being smaller companies that are not really out there. So, you know, every company, everything, every business, every everything has their ups and their downs. I mean, even for me as a YouTuber, I have my ups and my downs. You know, this may be positive about me, but this may be negative. You know, people may not like that I talk with my hands so much. People might like it. So it's just all personal opinion again. So if you love these companies, if you've used these brands, or if you are these brands, please do not come at me. Please do not send me hate because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to let my followers and my loved ones know whether a company is good, whether it's great, whether it's okay, and if it's worth their money. In the long run, you guys are the most important important aspect of all of this so as always guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you on the next one bye